Alright guys, welcome back to the fun part. We finally get to begin creating our map. So before we can just start clicking buttons, I actually need to teach you guys a few simple things of how this works. The only tools you really need to pay attention to right now is this. The stamp tool and the paint bucket tool. You can also use the uh, eraser tool, but you know, it's no fun for that. So you usually want to start out with the paint bucket tool and go ahead and click that and now go ahead and click any of these tiles that you want to use go ahead and click, uh, click something that's going to be a good base something that's going to cover the ground either a base dirt or grass or something like that I'm going to go ahead and click this grass now go ahead and click in your map area and now you see it's covered with grass and I actually decided I would rather have this I like this grass a little better yeah I like that a little better or maybe this one no this one see it's it's a uh, harder to decide so anyways go ahead and paint your entire map a solid color because it just makes it a whole lot easier now from here how do you paint individual tiles well that's using the stamp tool so go ahead and click the stamp tool and now you can go ahead and select an individual tile and then go ahead and drag it to paint and by the way make sure you are in the bottom left of your map because by default when this map first pops up on our iPhone it's gonna be in the bottom left so that's why we want to make sure this bottom left is covered with something so go ahead and create a path um, make sure you have a bunch of different types of objects because whenever we create our game later on we want to interact with different types of objects in different ways so let me go ahead and create my path just like that uh, maybe I'll add some flowers in here maybe we'll do something with those um, let's go ahead and add a fence right along here and let's see some trees would trees look good not bad not bad and maybe add some more right here maybe a few right there this is looking good this is looking like a beautiful place I might visit this place and let's uh, top it off with some mountains these are huge mountains they kinda look like uh, ant hills but anyways yeah this is looking good so <coughs> Oh crap, I think I just got swine flu. Oh crap. Anyways, now that we have our map made, here's what we want to do. Our map is composed of layers. And the, what we just did is we made a layer, of course, but instead of naming this tile layer 1, let's just go ahead and name it BG because we're going to be needing to type this into our code and it's a lot easier BG to type in the tile layer one so now we have our layer named and our map made look good so now what we need to do is actually save this map so what you want to do when you have everything good to go is file save and you want to save it as this um, go ahead and save it as Bucky's map and you need to save it as something that you're going to remember because again all the stuff we're going to be needing to type in our code later so go ahead and save this and now our map should be saved yep there we go to our desktop so let's go ahead and open our Xcode project right like this remember we minimize it from the last tutorial and what we need to do is we actually need to add that file we just saved to our project so in your resources go ahead and right click it and add existing files and then go to desktop or go to wherever you saved yours and mine is named Bucky's map tmx and go ahead and add this copy default add now go ahead let me just check something real quick yep sometimes your image source isn't the uh, it might have a path to it but go ahead and just put just make sure it's named whatever your thing is dot ping if it if it's like a uh, white blue slash document slash this folder slash tile set dot ping go ahead and change the tile set dot ping because it's right copied in your resources that's where it's gonna look for it again sometimes it messes up it did it with me before so I'm just throwing this out to you as a warning alright so check this out let's go ahead and in our classes 
go ahead in your hello world scene. Now we can begin finally coding and adding this map to our program. So what we want to do first is we want to set up two different objects. One object is going to represent the map as a whole and another object is going to represent that layer. Remember that layer we named BG. So here and of course we need special objects for this. So the object that Cocos 2D has to allow us to reference the map, tiled maps, is this CC TM X and tiled map just like that and go ahead and name it something the map looks good so whenever we reference the map it's going to reference the entire map as a whole pretty cool huh so now what we want to do is have a way to access that background layer and the way let me just type this for TMX layer just like that this is how Coco Studio allows us to access um the tiled background tiled layer but I'm gonna name this BG layer could you guess why yes because it's the background layer and now that we have these two objects we need to actually have them properties so we can actually use them in our program so property non atomic retain and let's just do this the easy way copy that and also just copy this slam page right here and copy background layer so we have one property tiled map or the map one property BG layer looks good so now we need to do some housekeeping stuff of course anytime you have properties you need to add a uh, synthesize so let me make sure I didn't forget anything I have that that alright synthesize what I name it the map and synthesize what I mean, BG layer so actually let me go down to a probably don't want that eh alright now let me go down to a D alloc and Look how many comments are in this file. Can you believe it? I don't need every single line commented. And look at this. Four comments for one line. It's unbelievable. I know what the alloc is. Alright. So now let's go ahead and uh, self dot the map set it equal to nil. And also self dot bg layer equal to nil. Of course, this is stuff that, you know we should know from before. So now that we have all the housekeeping stuff done, what we can begin to do is actually code the program. What we want to do first before we, you know, create an awesome game is actually just add the map to our iPhone screen. So delete everything in your init because that was just the stuff to print out hello world on the screen just for the example, but what we want to do is we want to delete all that and we want to add the map to the screen. So in order to do this, what we need to do is self dot the map. And remember, this was the CCTMX tiled map object. So what we need to do is take this and set it to a tiled map object. And remember, we just create a tiled map in tiled. So here is how you reference a tiled map. CCTMX tiled map just like that and the method name to load it is tiled map with tmx file yep there it is right there and for your string here is where you put the name of your map and if you forgot it it should be right over in your resources bucky's map dot tmx and by the way make sure you spell this right because if you don't it obviously it won't work but more than that if you don't spell it right I think it'll your program will just act funny and it won't even give you an error message so that's kind of a pain in the butt with Cocos 2D sometimes things act weird and they don't give you an error message so you need to be very care careful more careful than if you're just building you know a regular program so self.bg layer 
set this equal to oh by the way now what we're doing is taking that layer object and what we need to say is alright now that we have the map we want to use and it's stored in the map what we want to do is we need to get a layer from it and this is very easy so in order to get a layer from the map go ahead and type in the object name of the map and ours is the map of course whatever your map was up here and in order to get layers from it the method is this layer named there we go and for your parameter just go ahead and type in whatever your layer was named so remember when I said BG is a lot easier to type in than tile layer one or whatever that's why then we don't have to worry about mistyping anything so now that we have a map stored in the variable the map in that layer stored in the variable BG layer we can go ahead and add the map to the screen so of course anything with Cocos 2D you have to add child so self add child and by the way a map is a node and before I even do this let's go ahead and add child and add the map to the screen and another thing we should probably do is put this in negative one whenever you add stuff to the screen you can position it like layers in front of each other in Z positioning it whenever you put it negative one it pretty much means make this the back most item so anything we add to the screen like sprites and object they're gonna appear on top of the map rather than behind the map because if they appear behind it you won't be able to see it so anyways let's go ahead and build and run this save it and uh, see if our program acts funny let me check my spelling while this is loading releasing all my objects that's good that's good alright so let's see what happens alright check this out how beautiful is this now you can see our map is showing up on the screen ah oh, finally it's done but we're not done with the game just this tutorial so something you want to take note of is if you pay attention there should be ten tiles this way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and there should be you know what whatever 480 divided by 32 is this way uh, I don't know I can't do the math I'm not that smart but anyways so that so anyways now you can clearly see the dimensions of the tiles they're 32 by 32 for each tile and this entire map is 50 by 50 but right now we're only seeing 10 by you know 16 or whatever so anyways that is how you add a map to the screen in the next tutorial we're going to be actually adding characters to this and you know having them move around the map and having them battle enemies and go in buildings and it's going to be awesome trust me guys i mean this is pretty cool right now huh but if you think this is cool wait till the next tutorial so enough of me talking i have no idea why you guys are still watching this tutorial i have no idea why i'm still talking um so i'm gonna go play StarCraft 2, you go make some macaroni and cheese, and in five minutes we'll meet back here for my next tutorial. Alright? Sound good? Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you then.